welcome to the vlog. Happy Father's Day. It's Happy Father's Day today, but uh, you guys will be watching this tomorrow, so I hope you guys had a good Father's Day. Uh, any of the fathers out there that watch the show, let me know what your, uh, your wife did for you, your kids. I guess if you're just married, you wouldn't be a father yet. So, forget that person. <laughs> so if you are a father, let me know uh, what your kids got you, your wife and whoever else. Uh, to share with everybody uh, I, again my my thing is I don't want anything from my kids I don't want anything from my wife I just want to go out to dinner and have a good conversation have a good meal and that's what I value the most but Carol did buy me this really nice shirt and another very cool shirt and a pair of shorts a beautiful pen Ben wants to buy me a uh, a nicer wristband for my Apple Watch because I mentioned that a few uh, weeks ago that I wanted to keep the wristband that I have for my Apple Watch as my workout one and uh, it's kind of everyday kind of one but if I go to dinner or I go to a business meeting or whatever or go to VidCon uh, I like to have a nicer wa uh, wristband uh, watch band I guess is the right word all right so I am headed up to the cottage to uh, do the lawn, lawn mower and, and lawn maintenance for my mom because she can't do that. So I have to do it before I go away for a week. So I'm gonna go up there tonight. Oh, I forgot my beer. <laughs> I'm gonna go up tonight. Uh, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. It'll probably take me an hour and a half to get there. Uh, I was going to do all the lawn and everything and then kick back, relax, have some beers at the cottage with my mom, my sister, and my niece, and uh, just have a good time tonight. Then come back tomorrow and uh, pack, get everything ready for VidCon 2018. I've already hooked up with Natter from Freak Eating. I've hooked up with uh, Matt from Reckless Eating and uh, Adam the Woo. I'm going to be hooking up with Adam Wu the day I get there. I think I land at like 1.26 in the afternoon. So my hotel room won't be probably ready till 3 or 4. So while I'm in LA, I'll zip over to uh, Hollywood and hang out with Adam the Wu. It'll be a really good vlog. Stay tuned to that. But right now, let's go up to the cottage. And uh, between now and I get to Bracebridge area, uh, I, I might want to show you something that's very cool. And... Uh, I don't think I've showed you before, so let's go. Hi, can I please try the medium chocolate chip ice cap? Unfortunately, we are actually all sold out of our chocolate chips. Okay, well, oh, just the chocolate chips themselves? Yeah, I can still make you the same like drink, it's just without chocolate chips. That's fine. Okay, it, and what size is it? Medium, please. Okay, is that everything? Uh, that is everything. No chocolate chips. Someone who's been eating them. Do you still want the whipped cream? Yes, top? please. Yeah, that's the best part. Who's been eating all the chocolate chips? Yeah. I start checking lockers. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Ciao. Anyway, we've got a full tank of gas. We've got a nice cold beverage. Let's do it. Okay, I thought about it, and I am going to take you to South Falls, uh, it's a gorge, and my Uncle Ross, who I think you've met, uh, he took me here when I was probably 14. Uh, I remember having a friend up at the cottage, and he said, guys, grab your bathing suits and towels, I'm going to take you somewhere very cool that you've never been before. And so, ever since he took us there, thank you very much, Ross. Uh, ever since he took us there, I've been taking friends and family to this place ever since. So, it's just a very cool place. It goes underneath the highway. And if you're not careful, you can uh, be in there during a, I don't know, a flash flood kind of thing. So, you, and we were in there one time when the, the water started rising. Not really fast, like not alarming fast, but fast. So this is the highway, Highway 11. 
that's the bridge. We just went over it going north. And then there's a dam over there. So I'm gonna park the car and take you guys down. So when you come up here, this is a portage route too. I mean, it's a portage sign letting people know which way they, how they can get around. But there's a beach over there, a lot of people swimming. And um, there's some people kayaking over there. But that's the dam. And the water comes to here and then goes down probably through another dam i'm guessing let's go check it out i'm not sure if you can see this but there's a slot in there for a door to come down to let or to stop water from flowing over. And then if they need more water to come out of that area, they open up this bigger door. And when they do that, they have an alarm uh, that goes off. There's a light as well, red light, and extreme danger. Siren indicates rapid changes in water level flow. So the people that might be swimming downstream, look both ways, people. They could get swept away. And... Look at this. Oh my God, that looks so cool. I've even taken Paul here and a bunch of other friends from high school. And they used to have three uh, wooden pipes and it's all it was all made out of wood and I guess the slots of wood went this way and then it went around this way and it was all held together with metal rods uh, or metal strapping or whatever but now they've uh, taken all that away and put this one huge green pipe let's go down and take a closer look well obviously you can tell by the signage that uh, and this new fencing with the barbed wire meaning keep out no trespassing authorized personnel only trespassers will be prosecuted Wow let's take a really cool place away from the people hmm so yeah I don't know what year they did that transformation but there's a picture of Paul sitting on the uh, the wooden pipes because there's always leaking and they're they're like jets of water kind of streaking out and so Paul like sat really close to the thing it looked like he was peeing it's pretty funny so it's it, it said you know only canoers and kayakers are allowed down here but let's go anyway and because uh, I wanted to show you man it says kayaker portage this way we're kind of portaging without a boat Wow, I can't believe this. So the last time I was here was with uh, Carol and the kids, and we rented kayaks probably, I guess, two years ago, and we went from Bracebridge, kayaked all the way down this amazing river. If you have the chance, do it. And it ends up here, and then we just ditched our kayaks and then walked up to the kind of swimming and rock jumping area, and there's like, you know, little spots you can jump off that are like five feet and then 10 feet, 25, 30 feet. I'm not sure if you've ever jumped from 30 feet, possibly even 40 feet into water, but it is spooky. <laughs>
it is like completely <laughs> fenced off with barbed wire and the whole bit. You could probably get there easily, obviously with a canoe and walk up a little bit. Uh, but I met a nice family down there. They seem to live in the area. And uh, she said she was here about five, six years ago and that green um, tube wasn't there. But uh, their daughter gave me a couple clams. She liked the drone. But uh, yeah, in, in this spot of the river that I'll show you with the drone shot, this is where we used to swim. And to the left, up really high, that's where you could jump from. But the guy who I met right now, he said he thinks a bunch of people died here. So they said, well, best way to stop people from dying here is not let people in here. But as you can see, if somebody really wants to be in here, they can, although it's illegal. Oh, long walk back. Let's do it. made it to the cottage as, I, as you can tell by the screaming dogs. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and my screaming sister. <laughs> Tick woo! Here they come! Attack! Oh hi, screaming! Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, shh. It's okay, shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Come. <laughs> There's a beaver right there. He is so big. Look at him. Oh my god. They're huge. He's huge. Holy crap. Unbelievable. If I if I was snorkeling and saw that thing, I would definitely something would come out of me. Oh, he's over the thing. They can hold their breath for so long. Oh, he's back up. What is that? What is it? The beaver is right under the dock. Unbelievable. That was so cool. Crazy big. Like, it was like a dog swimming underneath the... Crazy. Huge beaver. Probably the biggest beaver I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>